12, 1922. I blacked out for days, so I wake up in a stranger's blood. In places I don't recognize, with women I don't remember. I feel alive again. <laughs> All right, I think I've read enough. Nada? I know nada means nothing. I know what day it is, I know what year it is, I know his car is a V8 engine, and yet I am two journals deep, and I have absolutely no memory of who the hell I am. Brutal. And is this supposed to fill me up? Well, yes and no. Technically, yes, because you're a vampire. Weird. Realistically, no, because you're, you know, you. Ah, yes. The insatiable and bloodlusting vampire ripper of Monterey. And we're only in the 1920s, baby. Well, sorry, but this is a lot to process. You are a vampire, not a caveman. So, let me get this straight. I helped you steal this car. I found that I was a vampire who killed his own father, and yet I don't glitter. You're a man of principle, Stefan, who had his memories erased by a 2,000-year-old witch. Yeah, well, I bet that 2,000-year-old witch probably drives a little faster than you. Wait, let me guess. Fun brother. Safe brother. <laughs> What are you doing? You trust me? Do I really have a choice? Nope. Oh. oh. I, I got it. You're the fun brother. So upbeat about dead people? Well, in the theme of morbid town tradition, you go back to the 1820s when everyone was so paranoid about the cholera thing, they would occasionally bury a body a wee bit before it's time. So we have a holiday dedicated to burying people alive? Well, they were so paranoid that they would actually request to be buried with a string attached to a bell above ground. And then the whole family would hang around the grave for 24 hours in hopes of hearing the bell and that their loved one would come back. But now it's just really, it's a really kick-ass excuse to get hammered. Hello. Hey. Oh, uh, hey, darling. We'd, we'd love another round, please. You got it. Yeah. What the hell is that? That, my brother, was you jonesing for something a little stronger than a blood bag. So what's the problem? You spent the whole day trying to convince me I was a vampire. I'm convinced. Let me act like one. Well, unfortunately, Stefan, there, there are two types of vampires in the world, okay? There are those that can handle moderation, and then there's you. Well, I'm no shrink, right? Right. But maybe killing our father and turning you into a vampire and all the trauma associated with that is what made me become a vampire who feeds on people and then rips their heads off. But now that I don't have all those memories and all that guilt, maybe the Ripper thing won't be such a problem. Well, let's not try it out, okay? And here, I thought catching up on nearly two centuries would be a drag. Remind me of your name again? Elena. Elena. Right. You haven't told him about me? 200 years is a long time. <laughs> right. Well, 